What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we're on hole 16 at the Ledgestone Open. We got Garrett Gerthy lining up a massive 600 foot roller, executing it to absolute perfection. He did hit the, he did hit that stick, lose a little bit of speed, but what really impacted the shot was drilling the spotter in the chest. And every time a cameraman, a spotter, a volunteer gets hit, they all make the same face. There's a very specific look on your face when you realize that, uh-oh, I'm on camera and I did something stupid and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pay the consequences and get roasted for this. This is something that we see happen time and time again. And I want to play for you guys what Germ and Yuli thought um, the solution is to this because I actually have a very different opinion than them, but I want to play their opinion first and then I'll give you guys my opinion afterwards. Oh, boy, that is as bad of a... And Garrett says, you know, come on, dude. Like, how, how could you possibly let that happen? Some people just can't really tell where an, a disc is going in the air, um, particularly inexperienced players, people that haven't been around disc golf for a long time. They sometimes don't really know where the disc is going, and it seems seemingly random to them. You know, someone more experienced, like I, I could watch that disc and know exactly that it's beginning to curl over to the right. I would notice step out of the way. He just sort of lifted his leg up and tried to let the disc like scoot under him. I don't know if he was going for style points or what that was, um, but he just needed to step slightly to the side and the disc would have curled in bounds as, as the shot had intended to be. And I'm sure even off the tee, they could tell that that was a perfectly executed roller. Unreal. I, I just... <sighs> I actually feel for that guy. He feels so bad right oh, now. Oh, for sure. It's it's a lose 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 situation. Yep. Every, the fans are unhappy. The 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 volunteers are unhappy. The player just gets screwed. The card, the card has to see that, and they have to deal with that as well. That's like worse than a spit out. Oh, oh that is by far, yeah. Oh, that is so brutal. I wish there was something that could be done in the rules to to handle a situation like that, but. Look at this spot here for Gossage. My goodness. Come on, hurry. Back. It needs to hurry back quickly. Oh, it stays in. Yeah, that's a putt. Just Great outside shot. the circle. What do you think could be done in a situation like that with Garrett's roller? Um... Well, I don't think there's much. Yeah. I think people get hit all the time in traditional golf. Sometimes it saves people. Sometimes it doesn't. Typically, it doesn't save a lot of people in our sport because mm -hmm. it's coming back in. Yeah, but they're normally in an out-of-bounds position. But sometimes you've seen them hyzer and hit somebody and come back in, so it's, it's just a tough thing. Well, at least he's only going to lose a stroke. I mean... Granted, who knows if that would have been the eagle look, but a great approach from there. It's still going to make him sick to his stomach, but yeah, he's not going to take a bogey, and really that's important. So my opinion of this situation, when something like this happens and the disc is clearly going to find its way in bounds, I can't really see a scenario where that disc was going to, again, find its way out of bounds, and I think the card should really be able to make a decision to say, an outside factor unrelated to the course, unrelated to the player, and unrelated to the event, and basically like an unintended mechanic happened and caused something to happen that wasn't supposed to be able to happen, the card should be able to use logic to decide maybe we just assume Garrett's roller was going to at least be in bounds because it was clearly curling to the right, and we're dealing with four high-level professional disc golfers that know within a 30-foot range of where that disc is going to be. And I think you should just refer to the player's expertise to decide, what, was this disc going to be in bounds is the first question, yes or no. And the answer would have unanimously been yes, because it was obviously curling to the right. And then the second question is, where would it have landed? And between the four players, I think they could have come to a reasonable solution. Um, in a situation like this where something happens that, again, was an unintended mechanic, something that wasn't supposed to be able to happen, the players are going to be able to make a reasonable and logical um, solution and put Garrett in a proper spot inbound somewhere where he should have landed 
Um, again, Garrett Gerthy wound up not really being a factor um, coming down the stretch. Gannon ran away with the tournament. It didn't really affect much. Maybe Garrett missed a few placings due to a few strokes. Um, but big picture, it doesn't really matter. But we should learn from these experiences. And in the future, these types of things should not be happening. The only other thing that I want to say is, you know, we have people out volunteering on the course to help the players out, to provide that professional feel out on the course. If you're going to be a spotter and you're going to be in the fairways, you've got to have the motor skills of a, of a higher level than a small toddler. Like, he didn't really try that hard to get out of the way, and it almost looks like he just has no idea where the disc is going and jumps clean into it. Like, it's, he didn't even, his hands are behind his back the whole time. Like, there was a very small amount of effort made to get out of the way. If you're in this position on a hole where rollers are going to be going up that side all day long, I'm sure that wasn't the first roller he saw come up the line that day. Maybe he let the one go under his leg earlier in the day, and he thought it was cool, and he tried to do it again. We don't really know what happened, but it just seemed like a weird way to try and get out of the way. Didn't really look like he did a good job trying to get out of the way at all. With that being said... Garrett Gerthy should not be punished for this, and there needs to be a solution for this going forward. Again, things like this, they just don't look great from Garrett's point of view. He's like, why should I have to take a stroke for something that was completely an unintended mechanic and outside my control? That's where I stand. I'd love to hear where you guys stand. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think. You're watching Iceberg TV, and take care.